What's happening? Dustin here with Dustin's Customs and today I got a video for you. I am doing an LS swapped Mustang, a New Edge 9904 Mustang and I got to clean up the engine, replace some parts, do you know cam, valve springs, all that stuff and today I have a $13 LS valve spring remover. I'm gonna go ahead and test this out and kind of see how it works. We're gonna see whether this tool is cool and uh, whether it works or not, it says it does GTO, uh, G8, CTSV, GM, trucks, made in China, of course. I also have a like a Summit uh, racing style valve spring compressor. We'll kind of give that one a go and see which one is better. I'll bring you in. We'll open this box, look at the other style, put a head on the bench, and test this thing out and see what I kind of think towards the end. So let's get to that. Okay, uh, they got it taped up pretty well. There is no directions for this at all. Okay, so this thing is great. I'll go ahead and take it off and show you comes with these shorter bolts right here they go through right there the longer bolt you thread right through just like that locking nut on this side washers and short ones like this spacer goes right here facing that direction this bolt right here if you put it through on that side facing the other direction the angle will be wrong for the valves so go ahead and finger Tighten this thing on to where the rockers would go. And then you can slide this back and forth and kind of get it centered. Make sure it's finger tight since it is aluminum. And then center this in between. Tighten that down. This thing right here has the lip for the valves so that would face down to kind of cradle that right there as you can see these all the angles line up if you put this facing down and flip it over this angle will be wrong this spacer has to be there because of this stud right here put that on put your washer on put a nut on right here and squeeze the valve down As you can see, it did squeeze the valves down, but the actual valves went down with it. If you flip it over, you can see that the valves have opened. Or you can take this valve and push up on it like that, and then you can get these retainers out that way. You might have to adjust this in order to get enough bite to pull it down. There we go. Okay, now that it's down far enough, you can pop these little retainers out. Set them aside, you can pull them out with your fingers. Or you can pull them out with a magnet. Then pull this through. 
release it. You can leave the tool together. Get this off. So you could pull your valves out, clean your valves up. And that is one way to clean your head. As you can see, it's a pretty simple setup. This pushes down on that, that does that. Don't lose your retainers. Pops out your retainers and your uh, things right there, your valve springs. You pop your valves out, clean that, do whatever you're gonna do. Clean those up. Okay, the next method is one of these right here. This end goes on the valve. This end holds the valve. You place it right there. I got a table with a lip. So place it on the valve, hold the valve. Definitely, if you're doing this way, put it over the table so nothing can fall. Press that in, holds the valve. And then you can grab the retainer just like that and then just release that you can adjust this piece right here to make it taller or shorter there's a cam lock right here you have to pull back to make it shorter but you can turn this and you hear it ratcheting up it's locked in it won't go anywhere you got to pull this cam lock backwards there's kind of a groove in it right there and as you can see it is maybe a quicker way to do it This tool right here is really good for when the vehicle is in the engine bay. This tool right here is much better for on the bench. A little cumbersome, but it's way faster to get things taken apart. I'm gonna leave these valves in it for now. The valve guides actually feel pretty good, but I am going to clean these heads up and lap them. Okay, like I said, this tool right here, the $13 Amazon tool, it, it, maybe if you want to pump some air into your cylinder, put this on, have this squeeze down the, the spring, take out your retainers, and pop out the valve springs and change them. This is a great tool. It also works on the bench, but you just got to go back to the back side and hold the valve up for a quick second to take out the retainers. This thing right here, big, clumbersome, you're gonna need a big workspace. You're gonna want a table that has a lip, like a transmission disassembling table, or uh, any kind of work table that has a lip. I got one back here that I actually made from a lid from a uh, cooler from a restaurant, like a restaurant cooler lid, stainless steel. I made a table out of it. It's got about a half inch lip all the way around it, so when things fall out of the head, like using this, when you squeeze it in, and it pops them, them retainers just fall right out and uh, luckily it had them lips that so doesn't roll away so I'd suggest something like that for this just be careful and watch what you're doing this is uh, you can still use it on the bench and it's actually a little more methodical uh, things don't go flying everywhere it is very slow compared to the bigger tool you can get one of these for under 50 bucks if you want to or more you can get this for $13 on Amazon both do really well great tools I would say use this one if you want to be fast use this one if the engine is still in the engine bay but I think they are both really cool tools and that's kind of just a little demonstration on how to change your valve springs to maybe a pack 600 lift or racing valve spring something of that nature which we are doing so stay tuned for that many more videos on the LS swap Mustang this is another cool tool from Dustin's customs and if you would like go ahead and check out my other videos there'll be a few at the end of this and uh, thanks for watching I'll see you later bye